Wait, what's going on, YouTubers? Oh. My name is Robert Serrano well, Jr., natural born so thriller, so and welcome everyone to Impact Wrestling well, Review, the show from like December 6, 2018. Yeah. Your commentators were Don Collins oh, and Josh it's Matthews, it's and they were at Sin City, which is your Las Vegas, Vegas Nevada, sorry. still in Las Vegas, Nevada. Life. So the show opened up uh, with Jay so Crist tired. being accompanied by Sammy Callahan and um, Dave Crist from OBE. As Jake Chris goes up against Willie Mack to determine who's going to uh, qualify to the Ultimate X match for Homecoming for Impact Wrestling on on January 6, 2018, um, and that you know, I'm looking forward for uh, for that match too. By the way, folks, but yeah, um, this match itself between Jake Chris and Willie Mack was pretty damn good. Of course, you had the um, the outside appearances uh, from Sammy Callahan and Dave Chris in the in you know involved, and in the end. Uh, it, it did work in the end because uh, Dave Chris, I mean Jake Chris, ends up winning against over um, Willie Mack, and uh, he he qualifies to the X to the Ultimate X match to fight for the uh, for the Exhibition Championship for for it at um at Homecoming. So yeah, so far so good, and and, and the way they build up um Homecoming for Impact Wrestling is awesome, man. It is you know. Just the way they build it up, you know that, uh, and, and, the, and the number of matches that could be involved, and the, 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 the number of wrestlers that they have yes. involved too, it just, you know, it just uh, works works out wonders for for Impact Wrestling, and hopefully, um, 2019 will be a a, a better year. I mean, I'm not saying that 2018 was a bad year for them. They had some, um, they had some, there were some good moments that they did, even great moments, uh, to say the least, like 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 um, their pay per views and all that, especially for pertains to the anniversary. Hopefully, 2019 will, you know, they'll shake things up and all that. And on top of that, yo, they go um, they yo, and, and what I mean by um, you know, for twenty nineteen for the um, Impact Wrestling to um, to, to get better is to um, for them to go back to, uh to doing live TV, you know, live television instead of doing um, you know, pre taped shows, you know, which that 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 alone uh, hurts them a lot, it, it, you know, where it pertains to them doing tape um, taped shows, because you get you get spoilers out there spoiling shit. Oh, I was just, I was just right now, uh, Jay Chris and the um the match against Willie Mack with the um the, the Ace Cutter. Which is pretty, I'm pretty good the way he does it. He does it off the top roll too, by the way. It was a nice spot. Also, we go backstage and we see Impact Knockouts champion yeah, Tessa Blanchard. She, she, she basically she talks about uh, Ty Valkyrie making up excuses on why she isn't the, uh, the champion right now. You know, Ty Valkyrie. And also, we see Moose with that stupid girly glass sunglasses, whatever, and and that shirt that he was wearing. Um, it was like half of see through shirt and the, um half you know some like what the fuck is he doing? Like <laughs> why? God bless you. Bless you. Thank you. Um, <laughs> what? God damn it. Well, I, I should edit out. <laughs> uh, but anyways, uh. <sighs> anyways, uh. But moose, what the fuck is he wearing? Like this is this is the heel moose on um, world world um what want to see? We're wearing some good diggers outfits. Why? Why did why? Oh, Yo, and at this point now, I'm I'm done with Moose now. I I don't care about Moose anymore. At this point now, he he could he could pull um a five star match if he can, if he that that's if he can. He could pull any offer any five star matches all you want, but uh, at the end of the day, based on what he wear, he's wearing now, and that's that's and obviously that's gonna be a rain theme now, a rain, a rain joke now. Oh, what's what's you gonna wear this year? You know this this week and all that, right? I, at this point, I don't care anymore. He could wear whatever the fuck he wants now. He could wear a unicorn horn all he wants. He could wear. Any kind of uh, rainbow color here, uh, rainbow, rainbow color um, outfits he can, he can wear all he wants. At this point, I don't care anymore. Moose can Moose can go fuck himself. But yeah, but why they were doing this? Uh, this whole thing back, back backstage because they're gonna be uh, in the main event against uh, Giant Impact and Tyre Bagri. That's that's the um why they set up this up this whole thing that they did backstage. Not not because you know they want you know, you know you know this whole thing what, what Moose is wearing. Because they want to cut a promo against the other uh, uh, opponents for later on, so then that's basically it. All right, so next we get Dark Alley, but they didn't say Dark Alley. This is they just said this is Alley, and she's being copied by Sue Young as Dark Alley goes up against Heather Monroe. Match itself decent. Alley right, gets the win with the code breaker, and nothing else to say about that. But after the match, they they will continue they will continue to uh to, to add more uh insult to injuries to. To uh, he to Heather Monroe, Kira Hogan comes out to save the day, save the, the day, to get uh Sue Young out of the ring. She stops uh Dark Alley, and and uh, you know, it's, it's uh trying uh, to get, you know to wake uh Alley up, you know that, in, you know inside of her, whatever. Alley, what does she do? She blasts Kira Hogan, and then we get a beat down on Kira Hogan, 
And then Kiera Hogan gets uh, a code breaker for Troubles um, by Dark Alley. And by the way, the whole thing about Dark Alley, you know, with that, you know, with Alley acting like, uh, you know, she's, um, she's uh, possessed or whatever. No, I don't have a hoodie. I don't like it. No, I don't, I don't, I, 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 it's not the, it's not the good, it's, it's not the best acting I've seen. And she's tried to do this before. It just didn't, didn't, it just doesn't work for me. Especially, uh, I don't know. It, to me, uh, Ali, Ali is better off, you know, being, um, you know, having a, a mean streak sometimes, uh, sometimes. You know, I miss the old Ali, basically. This new Ali that we got right now is, you know, I, I, don't, I don't like it at all. But, you know, they're doing what they can to, uh, to work with it, and... And at the end of the day, it's all about Ali. Let's forget William sure Mac and Rituan backstage. Let's talk about what, what OVE did, you know, uh, with William Mac's match. And OVE, uh, William Mac wants to, uh, piece, you know, wants to get even. And Rituan's trying to calm him down. And he's like, uh, he's, 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 and he's got a match against Dave Chris the next, next, uh, the next, you know, the, the next, uh, uh, the next episode of Impact Wrestling. And Rituan's going to take care of Dave Chris. And yeah. And we Mac uh, was, was, was still talking. Uh, was still talking shit to OVE and everything. <laughs> uh, it was it was kind of funny though. So yeah, we'll see how that turns out though. Uh, the, ne the next the next time uh, in fact, wrestling, honest, Rich Swan is going to get his opportunity like against uh, the Chris in the match to qualify for the uh, for the exhibition championship for the exhibition match. I mean, I mean the ultimate X match yeah, for the exhibition championship. Lessons, you know? So there you Bye. go. So let's forget that that's his squad defeating Jay and Bruno, whoever they are, or they were. I don't care. But hey. That's his squad. They won. So next we get Matt Sado and Ethan Page uh, backstage. Ethan Page is all, you know, getting ready for his match against Matt Sado. And Matt Sado asks Ethan Page if he's ready. Not. And then but Ethan Page says, uh, you, sh you need to get ready. You know? <laughs> and basically telling Matt Sado he, he, he needs to get ready because basically uh, this whole thing with Matt Sado is, test, is testing him out to see um, and also for Ethan Page to test himself to, you know, what pertains to having, you know, to open your heart, open your mind, but more, poor, <laughs> excuse me, but more importantly, open your third eye. Oh! Yeah. So, yeah. Um, and this match is going to be uh, where it pertains to, um, to qualify to the, ex to the Ultimate X match. Kenny Reno has been interviewed by Mackenzie Mitchell. She's still not impressed about uh, Jordan Grace. Like, turn around. And basically, talks about turn how she got around. rid of Grado and Joe Hendry because uh, she got someone to, to, to take care of them. And, like and I'm saying to myself, wait a minute, you took care of Joe Hendry. But he didn't take care of Grado, because Grado came back a week later during that time. I don't know what she was talking about for that one, but whatever. But Karina says that you know, uh, Jordan Grace is going to face uh, someone that uh, that she um, Damn, brought that, that she uh, is going to take care of her. And she, so this woman comes in, some some woman I don't know who she is, but she goes by Ruby Ruby something. I remember how. Ruby Rose, I believe that's, that was her name, and I'm like, I never heard of her before, never seen her before, and and basically she's tall, she's um she's she's tall, she's like uh Katarina, and she's um I don't know I don't know her her full size of it, but I don't know, but we'll see how where that how, how, we'll see how what happens in the, 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 on the next episode of Impact Wrestling, where it pertains to Ruby uh, Rose versus Jordan Grace. Mackenzie Mitchell uh finds out what what's going on with Eli Drake, what pertains to on uh, the letter. That was sent to him all uh, that you know from last week. Um, well, you ghosted. Um, you ghosted. based on me uh, uploading this video, it's gonna be two weeks, but still, uh, you know, from two weeks ago. But uh, anyways, <laughs> um, yeah, basically after um, you know, the match here with Tom Dreamer, he got a letter, and he uh, he he sees, he he, re he re reviews the letter to McKenzie Mitchell, and McKenzie Mitchell reads it, and basically it's um, uh, what pertains to um, homecoming at Nashville, Tennessee, Abyss. The monster business is inviting Eli Drake to a monstrous ball match. So Eli Drake cuts a promo and talks about he took care of his brother Joseph Park and I said to myself, Oh my god, this whole thing with Joseph Park and the Abyss thing has gotta stop now. We know that Joseph Park is Abyss. They've been he's doing this for years. But I'm like, why this dude always trying to say that he's uh you know, that's uh Abyss's brother. But we know Abyss's brother <sighs> whatever. But the the fact is Eli Drake's gonna face uh, Abyss at, in the Monsters Ball match at Nashville, Tennessee at Homecoming. So basically, another way, another way to build up um, Homecoming for Impact Wrestling, which is good. Yeah, uh, the storyline is stupid anyways, uh, the way they're undoing it to and all. But, but whatever. At least we could get uh, a match. Uh, and I, and I, I'm, I'm looking forward to that match too. Abyss versus Eli Drake in Monsters Ball. Let's do it. Let's yes. bring, bring it on. So next we get the Relicos. They were all in the circle. 
smoking weed. I mean, they ain't, they ain't showing smoking weed, but you could tell by the smoke and everything. And I see myself, all right, this is cool. I like they're doing it on what, you know, what that semi show has been doing. Because you know, if you if you seen that semi show, you you see um you know the gang always in a circle, and you and you know what they were what they were doing during that time, you know. <laughs> uh, they were high. That was high as fuck. You know. I mean, not, I'm not saying all they, I'm not saying on that. I won't say they was in that words, but still, you know, yo, yo, know, the f word. But also, Scarpa Doe shows up. That seems like women. Where she? Where like women? And like, is she really there and everything? And uh, you know, basically, uh, she was there. Uh, she was part of the circle, and she's uh, saying, uh, you know, you know, talking about you know about her town search and all that. And she says she has high hopes of these guys and all something like that. I get something like that, and then she was gone. She she just she disappeared. So I'm assuming maybe um they were thinking that she was there because they're high as fuck. They they they, 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 they thought that she was there. Uh, but that was funny though. That was entertaining. I I enjoyed, I enjoyed the segment. Uh, I wish we'd seen more Scarpa though, but still. Um, but yeah, the rascals. Oh, uh, you know, I mean, I mean the rascals. I meant to say, excuse me. Uh, I, I said I, said, I, I think I said that before too. I I, I call them by the rascals, and I made a mistake there. I, I meant to call them the the the, the rascals. Um, you know when they first started doing this vignette. Um. But yeah, the uh, the, ras the rascals, uh, they were high, and they thought Scarpa though was there, but maybe she was there. Maybe maybe, maybe uh, it it was on the heads and all that, but whatever. But yeah, but get, but then again, they they were high, so uh, too much weed they uh, they were smoking. So uh, I enjoyed the segment though. It was it was pretty it was pretty funny, and and, and entertaining too. Uh, and that was it. If I'm number one, talking about wrestling for our for our number one. Three matches. And now we're going to move on to our number two. There we go. Ethan Page uh, versus Matt Sado. Match itself. Uh, I couldn't get into that much, that much because Ethan Page. I mean, there were some cool spots in the match too. Especially from Ethan Page's side. But other than that, the match itself, it was, it was, uh, it was like, meh. Uh, it, it, it was to, uh, to qualify for the Ultimate X match. And they were going for some um, attempts, roll ups, to uh, and all of a sudden, Ethan Page got Ethan Page got the better of it, and got the win. I said to myself, "Really, Ethan Page for the win? All right, I, I would have won with Matt Sadell for the uh, for that X, for that Ultimate X match, you know, for the X Division Championship." But Ethan Page, we're going with. I don't get it. Whatever. So after that, uh, Matt Sadell was uh, looking a little frustrated, and uh, Ethan Page was like, "Was like." Uh, you know, it was a match, you know, you know, and then, um, Matt Sado shakes his hand and all that, so I guess they're good. I guess it's going to lead to a heel turn, sort of, even though they're, they're, they're on their right heels, but whatever. I guess it's going to be a lead to uh, Matt Sado turning on Ethan Page somehow, which makes no sense, because, you know, why, why even pair them up together if you, you know, well, uh, that's just, that's just me speculating, but we'll see, um, what happens, uh, the, you know, weeks, weeks coming. But other than that, that yeah, uh, Matt Sado, uh, like I said, it was like, eh, whatever. All of a sudden, we go to Eddie Edwards at the Sandy Aris Mental Hospital. You know, because he's he's crazy. You know, um, he's playing chest with uh, a, a, a fellow patient uh, at at um, this mental hospital. And I saw one of the patients uh, in the corner, no shirt on, with underwear. <laughs> and his underwear. You know, because you know they're, they're supposed to be crazy. You know, they're in the loony bin. So basically, yeah, uh, Eddie Edwards is playing chess with. I couldn't believe it. Raven. Raven from WCW, what pertains to Raven, Raven's flock. Raven from ECW. You know, Raven uh, rules and all that. Uh, Croak the, Ra the Raven, Nevermore. The same Raven that was treated badly by WWE during the Attitude Era and all that. Uh, yeah, Raven was there. And, you know, he, obviously he won, he won the chess game. And also, uh, you know, he's talking to Eddie Edwards and all that. And then so Ra Raven uh, says he he checked he checked he checked himself in, and he can leave anytime he wants. <laughs> like what the hell, man? You know, they, you know, some people can do that too. Apparently, um, you know, I'll, I'll 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 love to do that too. That way, I could do some um some videos, uh, uh instead of being uh, instead of doing it here. Just saying. Then I'll really be uh a member of the uh, uh you know really be uh one of these uh people from the asylum. Um, I'm just saying. Anyways, uh, sorry about that. Raven uh, calls one of the, um, 
the guards that uh that he uh. But uh, it was knocked off, by the way. He knocked off the, on the chest board and all that. Because uh, he, he was being a sore loser. Because Ray Raiden says, you know, it's checkmate anyway because you, you, you had no words to go. Uh, so Ray Raiden uh, basically tells, the, uh, you know, the, the guard that uh, the person in the corner knocked out the, the game. And, and then he tells the, the key card. And that's uh, the guard left you know, with, with the patient. He gives it to Eddie Edwards. And he's like, uh, Eddie Edwards like, thank you. I owe you one. And then, and then Ray Raiden's like, yeah, you do owe me one. And he gives it to him. So I guess Ra I guess Raven is going to be is going to be coming back now. Last time we seen Raven in TNA, uh, now it's called Impact Wrestling, but he was, it was in TNA during the the whole Kogan run. You know, and we don't know how, you know and we don't know why he never came back because of that. But yeah, uh, Raven. Uh, I never I never thought to, to see Ra Raven come back into Impact Wrestling ever again. At, after that, even though uh, it did it did leave us uh, uh he did leave us a cliffhanger. Uh, you know that he doesn't care about this company, you know, this company, know that. At after um, you know they they uh they got rid of him, know that. He uh he uh he looks he leaves and then he looks back at it. Uh you no, know, and that was basically the, that was the last image of it. I believe it was back in 2010. I I, I believe it was, on, it was during that year, that uh that he left. Um, and he never look, and he never looked look back at it ever again. All of a sudden, eight years later, here here he is. Uh, doing some of Impact Wrestling with Eddie Edwards. So uh, if he's really back, I don't know because he does do a podcast, and and also uh, he's he's uh, he's trying to uh, you know uh, to uh, you know to uh, make his uh, his life uh, more better with with uh, you know with, with DDPY you know Diamond Dallas Page is, you know the, the the whole DDP yoga, but DDP doesn't like uh, being called yoga. He likes he he wants to, he wants to, uh, people to call it by DDPY. So, but anyways, oh uh, yeah, good to see Raven on TV though. Then we go uh, backstage and we see LAX and the Lucha Brothers confront each other. Uh, and Conan was there too, by the way. Conan was there. Hey, uh, they, uh, they're talking about how it's gonna be a great match and all that. You know, it's, gonna, it's gonna be a match to look, for, look forward to, a dream match, whatever. And then Pentagon Dream does this whole zero middle and he does it uh, to uh, Santana's face and all that. Santana uh, has a problem with that and he, uh, he tries to go out to, uh, and then you know, we get a pull apart basically. And then Conan was like, "You see, this is what I'm talking about. This is why. This is why I want this happen on that." And then, and then he walks off, you know, storming, storming mad. Um, and then Ortiz tells Art Santana, "Like, why are you always throwing shit?" <laughs> oh, that, that, that was funny. But I'm looking forward to the match, though. I am. I'm definitely looking forward to that match between LDX and Lucha Brothers for the Impact World Tag Team Championships at Homecoming. Main event time: Johnny Impact and Tyler Valkyrie. And basically, what Ortiz and Tyler Valkyrie, you know, with her being um. You know, uh, the, you know, Lucha Royalty, but now she's going by, uh, I'm trying to remember how, how, uh, how she said it. No, she was, uh, Lord Gasson like that. But yeah, uh, you yeah, know, which is, you know, that's, this is the character that she played in, you know, that, uh, this is her personality, her, 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 her argument that she, be, that she has, has been doing, um, and, 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 uh, Triple A and also in Lucha Underground, and she's uh she's shown she's shown it here on Impact Wrestling, and she teamed up with Giant Impact. You know, this, it's Giant Impact and Tyler Valkyrie versus Moose, and the Impact Knuckles Champion uh Tessa Blanchard and by the way uh Impact World Champion Giant Impact. So basically, you got uh two all uh, Impact Champions in this match, uh you know from for respective sides though. Match itself, um, I couldn't get into that match, folks. To be, to be honest with you. Uh, name me, name, name me because of Moose. I'm fucking done with Moose. Um, I'm, I just can't, I can't take him seriously anymore. So basically, here's the end of the match. So Ty Valkyrie is uh, going for the Indian Deathlock T STO uh, combination submission hole onto Tessa Blanchard. Tessa Blanchard gets to the ring apron, uh, try to get to the ropes, and you're basically trying to get to the ropes, and she grabs the ring skirt. And Ruffy's like, no, let go of the ring skirt, no, no, let go of the ring skirt and all that. Like he's he's like not this time or like oh no are you kidding me this again, this 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 bullshit again. Oh boy, I need to mention this too. Uh, Johnny Impact and Tyler Valkyrie also cut a promo before before the match too, uh, to Moose and and Tessa Blanchard. I I, I, I should point that out. So so, uh, like this again. I like really like Tessa Blanchard does not need to do that to, like, this, this is this is some bullshit. So yeah, you know, basically a referee. Uh, you know, she was near the ropes though too. She was underneath the ropes. That that should she should have told Tyler Valkyrie to break it up. 
break, break, break it, break it up, get, get off for her. No, that's not, that's not uh, the case at all. It's like, yo, you grab the ring skirt, like, no, yeah, nope, not this time. Let go the ring skirt. Like, dumb. So in the end, uh, Ty Valkyrie gets her in the end, the Indian, the Indian Deathlock STO combination submission hole. She's gotta come up with a name for that now. Um, so Tessa match taps out. So Giant Impact and Ty Valkyrie wins the match. After the match, um, yo, you got Moose going after Giant Impact, taking him out. Ty Valkyrie going after, uh, I mean Ty Valkyrie uh, going uh, in the face of Moose. Ty Valkyrie attacks uh, Ty Valkyrie, and she gets a steel chair. We get Kill Cross hitting in the ring. He stops Tessa Blanchard for hitting her with steel chair. And then, uh, Killer Cross and Moose are, uh, having, uh, you know, like, what are you, what are you doing? Uh, you know, Moose is going to Killer Cross, like, what are you doing? And then Killer Cross is like, he's like, he's like, uh, I don't want, I don't want to, uh, fight you and all that, but, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm just doing my job to try to protect these, these two. Even though, uh, Giant Impact didn't hire him anyways, but anyways. Uh, also, we get Brian Cage coming in for the save. Brian Cage, uh, you know, takes out Moose, takes out, uh, Killer Cross, but Killer Cross gets up back on his feet. And, and then also, uh, Killer Cross... Backs off. And then all of a sudden, uh, you know, you got the heels, you know, Moose, Killer Cross, and uh, Tessa Batcher walking away. All of a sudden, we get Ty Valkyrie uh, get helped up by Brian Cage, and, and Giant Impact is in the ring, helps her, helps her up too. And then also, we get, uh, you know, Brian Cage and, and Giant Impact looking at each other here and all that. Giant Impact, uh, uh, you know, is, is, is confused, like, what's going on here. Uh, and nothing happened after that. They was like, oh, okay, and all that, and Giant Impact was like, you know, nod in the head, like, but, but, but it, also at the same time. Uh, but, you know, once we get to uh, homecoming, it's it's gonna be it's gonna be it's it's, it's not it's not gonna be about friendships and all that. It's gonna be about you know who's 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 better. It, you know, we're trans, we're pertains to the title. So I liked it. I liked it. I I, I liked the, the stare down. I like I liked it. Um, you know, there's some tensions there, but at the same time, it was like uh, but also appreciation for um helping out um um uh, helping out um you know when when they, were, when they were down. So I thought I thought it was good, and that was it for Impact Wrestling from uh December uh 6, 2018. So, tomorrow, tomorrow wrestling for, in, uh, for uh, our number two basically two matches, overall, tomorrow wrestling, five matches, and my overall showing for the show, I'm gonna go six and a half out of ten. And with that being said, thank you all for watching. If this is your first time watching me, my name is Robert Serrano Jr. Robert Serrano Jr. I, it's like I sound like a little sound there. <laughs> uh, natural born driller. Please, please subscribe if you haven't done so right now. If you enjoyed this review. Thumbs up or thumbs down, whichever you prefer. And with that being said, I'm done. Thank you all for watching. This was your Impact Wrestling Review. Until next time, peace on the streets.